Hello and welcome in. My name is Sweet Film. Today in this video right here, I'm doing 100 Countess run and I'm highlighting all of the best drops. Now, the main reason to farm the Countess is it is where you can get terror keys here in Diablo 2 Resurrected and you need those keys in order to farm torches. What you're going to need is take one key of each, the terror, destruction, and hate, and you combine them together and it creates a portal. Create three of those portals in each game and you can go farm the pieces that you need to then transmute together in order to go to Uber Tristram and do the Uber Mephisto, Diablo, and blah, blah, blah there to farm your torches. Another good thing about farming the Countess is she actually has an increased rune drop chance because she has a special rune drop table. It's just something that's special only for the Countess, not for any other monster in the entire game. Now this rune drop table could drop up to Ist, so that's kind of what you're looking for. I know technically the Countess can drop up to low, but that's almost never ever found. Literally almost nobody ever gets that. Really what you're hoping for is that up to Ist on the rune drop table. Just for a point of reference, I ran 500 Countess runs back in the day uh, before Diablo 2 Resurrected came out and I found four Ist runes, but I've also seen people run 500 runs to the Countess and not get any. So I'd say the drop chances are somewhere in there. Now because of a little quirk with the rune drop tables and her drop chances, it's actually better to run these on players one difficulty for the runes and the drop chances for keys doesn't really go up all that much with players difficulty. So I'm doing these online, but it's just solo in game, just players one difficulty. Now I'm actually doing these with my fire sorceress because that's just what I have. Now she is always going to be immune to cold and to fire and her minions around here are immune to cold. So what I end up doing is going down and just fireballing away all of her minions, staticking her health to halfway and my mercenary can kill her in two or three attacks, no problem. So if you want to see the full build guide for the character I use in this video, I'll put a link down in the description. It's going to look just like this thumbnail right up over here. That is my Fireball Sorceress build guide. So with all that information out of the way, let's get after it. It's always good when you don't have to wait long for you to get your first highlighted drop here in a run drop highlight video. So here I'm taking out uh, all of the Countess's minions and unfortunately these little Rakanishu boys around here are also immune to fire, so I gotta wait for them to get taken out. I'm gonna go ahead and save, exit, and ID these for you. They're not the best ever in the entire world, but I do find a pair of Tri-Res boots. Wish the cold was a little bit higher, but Tri-Res boots are not particularly common to find. Finally get a rune here at run number eight, and once again, unfortunately, there's all these immune to fires around here, so that is kind of the downside to using this particular character, but I didn't want to respect just to run the Countess. I static her down and some of the other minions around her down, and eventually she gets taken out, and I do find a nice little mid rune here. As for the ring, it ends up being, meh, not quite there for me. I would want better than that to be able to use it. The amulet, unfortunately, Saracen's chance semi-rare not all that crazy not that great of a gg amulet but i do get myself up here at least something kind of noteworthy and that's a pull rune unfortunately i gotta wait all the way till run 30 here and i was killing uh some champion packs along the way that i felt like and ghost packs that i found and here i take out that when you see i picked up a grand charm didn't id it right away just didn't think about it i'm doing this live on stream obviously I go ahead and ID it now and I get myself a skiller, and that is one to bow and crossbow skills for the Amazon. The Countess isn't exactly known for a great unique farming location, but occasionally you can get something from her. And here I get a unique Templar's coat, and that is the Guardian Angel. It is kind of noteworthy, sometimes you'll put this on an Act 2 mercenary to get his resistances up due to that 15 to all maximum resistances. So a little bit later here, I don't usually do this, but I decided to hit these because I just seen them and I was bored, whatever. So I get a small charm out of a sarcophagus and it's actually an 18 to life with 11 to poison res. Not perfect, but not bad. Now run number 60 and I get another noteworthy rune here from the Countess. Unfortunately, it's not that elusive Ist rune that I'm hunting for, but after my mercenary takes her out, I get another useful mid rune here and that is the Lem rune. Always nice to have so you can make yourself another treachery. Run number 61, now the very next run, and I've been finding these everywhere in Diablo 2 Resurrected, it's crazy. That is these unique grand charms. I get one here off of a ghost pack that I killed along the way. So obviously you gotta throw mine out and ID it. Let's see how good a one I do find here. 
and it actually rolls pretty good. 136 extra gold find, 40 magic find. The vendor price is low, but that magic find is the one that's important to me. Now actually on the very next run again, take out these ghosts over here, get nothing, but I find the Countess, take her out, and like I said, not a great unique farming location, but occasionally you can get some things here and I get a unique ring. Ooh, possibilities SOJ? Not quite, but it is a Dwarf Star, kind of a rare find. Always need that uh, Fire Absorb. Very, very kind of odd, interesting find here at run number 80. It's kind of for a lot of niche builds, perhaps, if you need Lightning Absorb for your Act 2 Mercenary. This is a Blackhorn's face, but even more importantly, it's Ethereal, so it has a lot of defense. You could actually up it to get even more, but look at that. 20 to Lightning Absorb. Five runs later, killing another Ghost Pack right here, and off comes a unique Grand Crown. This is going to be good for them Gold Find characters, and that is the Crown of Thieves with 85 extra Gold Find from Monsters. So I did this very uncommonly, but every once in a while, if I seen a uh, champion pack along the way, I decided to take them out. Why not? You never know what could drop. Here I get a set of heavy bracers here, and they are Premier Caster Glove here. They're mainly for the Necromancer, but they're used a lot on other characters even, and that is Triangle's Claw, faster cast rate, and also has that cold resistance. So I didn't mark these down as noteworthy drops, but I do want to talk about, because obviously you want to farm the Countess to get keys, and runes. So right now we're taking a look at the keys. These couple over here I had from before. Actually in 100 Countess runs on Players 1 difficulty, I only found five keys. And according to the information I found, you should find a key on one player's difficulty, roughly one out of 14 runs. So just the way my RNG has been going non-stop here for the last, like, I don't know, month, I've had bad RNG. I only got five keys out of 100 runs, so that is pretty significantly less than what the odds would indicate. And of course, for the runes that I found from the Countess, uh, they're right over here. I did find the Lem in the pole, so uh, that's it. I was hoping to get an Is because you can get up to Is from her rune drop table. And actually, a little quirk to the way her rune drop table works, you actually have better chances of finding better runes if you do it on players one and as opposed to having more players in the game or a higher player difficulty that's because the magic items or the different items that you find actually will override her rune drop chances so i was kind of surprised to only find a lamb and a pole i did find three follow runes and three co runes which eh, it's not really super noteworthy i didn't want to put a highlight for a follow rune but i'm just going to note that because i didn't really find a ton of runes also a little surprising i didn't expect to find an ist rune in a 100 runs for sure but I kind of had my hopes up. I ran 500 Countess runs before back in the day, and I found four Istruns at 500 runs, so I thought there was a, at least a chance here, but I ended up not being able to get one. Well, that's how it goes. Hopefully better luck next time. Hey, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe up so you never miss any of the future videos. Peace out, and keep slaying.